Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fett Studios. We are coming to you now with the EOS RP to capture some of these more depth of field type approaches. I do apologize, there's a little bit of a traffic going on here today. I'm gonna try and cut out as much of that as I can, but today, today, we're going to ruin my Harley Davidson Dyna. Let's roll that intro and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What are you doing? <laughs> That's right, guys. Today we are going to do the ultimate test and sacrilege for a Harley Davidson Dyna. We're going to make this into a bat bike. Or, oh, we're putting the Memphis Shades bat wing onto the, uh, onto the old Dyna here. Uh, the reason I want to do this today is one, I got this for dirt cheap, tried to flip it. <laughs> didn't make anything on it, so I kept it. Uh, but I really want to see kind of like a scientific approach as far as if, you know, is there actually a function over aesthetics thing that, you know, could be usable. I mean, yeah, I won't ride with this thing on my bike all the time, but if it gets me on a 300 mile trip one day to a destination where I could pop it off when I get there, it might be worth something. So let's go ahead and do time lapse. I got some cameras going. We'll time lapse this thing. I won't bore you with the details. And uh, we'll show you what the finished product looks like. Let's go. All right, guys. So a couple things with this hardware from Memphis Shades. It's normally really, really good stuff. But that one right there, this one right here, I'm able to move just fine. I have no issue whatsoever moving that one around. But this one over here, the screw just comes out and it's kind of like lodged in there. Now this is just a, probably a one-off issue that I'm having with the Memphis Shades brackets. It doesn't probably ever usually happen to anyone else, but because I'm doing it and I'm trying to film, it's gonna be the pain in the butt, of course. So. Um, I mean, it does have a little wiggle, so I'm going to try and don't take that weird people and I ain't trying to push that out a little bit. So So we got the brackets now situated where they need to be. Um, the reason I know exactly where to put these brackets is, I'll lie, I've done this before. <laughs> so I have found that with the Memphis Shades Batwing, for anyone watching, I have the best luck having both of them facing all the way forward. Now with the cafe, back here is great and up front is good. But for this fairing, we gotta keep it right here. So so we're actually already almost done. I really just should have to, as long as nothing has changed on the bike in the last three months since I did this last, it should just hopefully pop on. I would say, and just like that, I was a little bad. I forgot to open the trick or lock. So, you know, still it took me less than a minute to actually get that situated. So you guys ready to see this? Are you ready? It's back there, you ready? One, two, three. I'm gonna keep it blurry here for a second. All right. <clears throat> so there she is. What do you guys think? of a Dyna with a bat wing. <laughs> it's just to me, 
It just seems like a very, very odd thing to put on a Dyna. But I think, I think it's gonna be pretty functional. So what we're actually going to do is let's go for a quick ride. We'll get it out of the garage, get an open world view of it and see just how it is because, God, it's ugly. <laughs> All right, let's cut to the, uh, let's cut to the ride and the off bike again. Hey everyone, usually I don't do a voiceover on a moto vlog part, but had some technical issues with both my audio and video for uh, the second part of this and given what time is like, I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. As far as what the Memphis Shades Batwing does, it does block a ton of air off my chest. I didn't feel anything. It felt kind of like I was even in a car, even going 75 miles per hour on the highway. The problem with it though is my height. I'm six foot two and uh, the air that was coming up and over the visor was hitting me directly, directly in the helmet. It was so bad that I had to like almost pull over. I didn't, but I could have pulled over uh, or slowed down. Uh, anything above 65 miles per hour was, I, was like I was seeing three or four of it. Now, that's not to say that this is not a good product or it won't serve a purpose. For me, yeah, I don't think it's going to serve a purpose though, just because I do like my cafe fairing well enough. I think it blocks enough of the wind, even for a longer journey. But, you know, if someone wants to, you know, shell out and, you know, give me a taller windscreen to try out, I definitely would try it again. But for me and for what I do which is mainly just some little short 100 to 150 mile rides the cafe fairing or even running the bike naked will do i do appreciate y'all uh, riding along with me here today and hope you had a little fun with this i didn't ruin the dyna i can go back to it and as always i can catch you guys on the next dark side as this is the way chopper see you in the next one see ya